So another very interesting problem and what we have here is an aquarium which has a width of 8 meters and a height of 5 meters and water is filled in this aquarium to a height of about 2 meters first. So there's certain pressure exerted by water on this wall of the aquarium and then what they do is they fill the aquarium with another 2 meters of water so that the total height is about 4 meters. So now the height of water here you can say is 4 meters and here it was 2 meters. So the question is what is the change in force exerted by this water when the height of water changes from 2 meters to 4 meters. So how we'll approach this problem is that first we'll find what is the average pressure on the wall when the height of water here is about 2 meters and therefore if we know the average pressure we can find what is the force exerted on the wall and likewise we can find the average pressure in the second case and therefore the force acting on the wall and the difference would give the change of force. But the question is how do you find the average pressure on this wall when the pressure varies due to the depth of the liquid. So in the first instance let's consider a small strip of water over here and let us say the height of the strip is about dh and this is at a distance h from the top so this is h and the thickness of the strip is dh so this strip has a thickness dh now we know that pressure at a certain depth is given by the formula P is equal to rho g into height from the top. So we can say that the pressure at this level which is height h is P is equal to rho g h. Now we also know that the force on account of this strip of water would be nothing but df is equal to pressure due to that strip or rather instead of saying strip I should say it's the entire layer of water. You see this layer of water is actually pushing against the wall and that's what's causing the pressure and therefore the force. So we can say that the delta force exerted by this layer of water on the wall is nothing but the product of pressure at this level into the area of this strip which we know is nothing but 8 into dh. So Let's write this as delta A. So the area of the strip is delta A. So we know that DF therefore is equal to rho GH which is the pressure into the area which is a product of width 8 meters into the height DH. And well if you want to find what is the pressure exerted by the entire water column or the depth of water to which its the aquarium has been filled we will need to integrate both the sides and the limits that you'll apply is as the height changes from 0 meters to 2 meters. So we can say well force is equal to let's take all the constants out 8 rho g comes out and as you integrate h it becomes 8 square upon 2 and as the limit changes from 0 to 2 meters. And if you solve for this what you'll get is and let's call this force in the first instance when the height is 2 meters. So F2 when the height is 2 meters is equal to if you solve what you'll get is 8 rho g into 2 square upon 2 which is equal to 16 rho g. Now using the same logic we can find what is a force exerted by the water column on this wall when the water is filled up to a height of 4 meters. So we'll use the same equation and we'll say that well the force when the water is filled to a height of 4 meters is nothing but 8 rho g 8 square upon 2 as the height of water changes from 0 to 4 meters. So we're finding total force exerted by water on this wall when the height of water is 4 meters and what we'll find is this comes to about 64 rho g where rho is the density of water and therefore the change in force is nothing but f4 that is the force when the height of water is 4 meters minus f2 that is the force when the height of water is 2 meters 
and this you'll find is 64 rho g minus 16 rho g and this is equal to 48 rho g and if you substitute the value of rho as 10 to the power 3 kilogram per meter cube and g as 10 meters per second square what you'll get is this equals 4.8 into 10 to the power 5 newtons so the change in force on this wall when the level changes from 2 meters to 4 meters is 4.8 into 10 to the power 5 newtons so if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for many more interesting videos